Hey everyone, so I just wanted to hop on real quick and do um, a quick reading for you guys. Um, and this particular reading isn't going to last real long because I just wanted to do a quick message that I was feeling drawn to do. Um, and some of my decks were calling out to me to um, to be used. So I was like, okay, well, um, uh, I'll just uh, start recording and see what I get for the collective because obviously there's a message that needs to come out. So for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and I have certain gifts and abilities that I use as well as my knowledge of the cards to bring messages from spirit. And if you're subscribed and you are liking the videos and commenting, you could potentially win your own private personal 15 minute reading for from me that I do on the first of each month. And I'm also going to be doing uh, this month a free um, reading, um, love reading um, on Valentine's Day. I'm going to give away um, a rating to someone. I'm going to randomly choose one of my videos and um, randomly choose someone in the comments that is subscribed to give a reading to. So, um, and that's it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna use the singing ball to cleanse out the energy um, for myself and yourself and call in my spirit team. <clears throat> Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Angels, Archangels, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, and Benevolent Higher Light Beings. I call to you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered. I thank you for using the cards that I use here today as tools to communicate, to bring forth honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. I also want to thank each and every one of you for your amazing support for the video that I did where I showed my face and um, all of the uh, supportive, loving comments that I got. Um, you guys, I, I like sat and bawled um, as I was uh, sitting there reading those comments. And I just want to say I greatly appreciate you. And to those of you who have um, sent me um, tips, donations, um, sent me um, tips and said for a cup of coffee like um you have to know that that is so appreciated you don't have to do that and uh it means the world to me um and like the absolute world to me and every time one of them has come in like i get goosebumps i i start to cry um and I truly, truly appreciate it. So I just want, and, and I'm a very tender-hearted person, and I, I'm sure that sometimes maybe I'm too, I, I get too emotional, but I can't help it when I'm connected to that much love. It, uh, I, I can't help it. So, um, anyways, um, let's see. Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides. Divine Holy Spirit, please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. I'm seeing someone who's got um, like some mental um, fog. So uh, you could be dealing with like some uncertainty or like maybe there's like a lot of mental chatter going on in your mind. Um, like maybe like some repetitive thoughts or um like some anxious thoughts or like some just like negative thoughts that um make you feel badly things like that um 
or just just kind of lacking mental clarity right now. Um, <clears throat> so right now I'm using my crystal cards and um, you could be dealing with uh, like issues of creativity or like your confidence. And this is called the sunstone and the sunstone uh, promotes creativity. And it says here, sunstone is the yang counterpart to moonstone, stimulating leadership, personal power and strength. The sun is the center of the universe with um, planets revolving around it. Sunstone encourages you to take center stage, to be in the limelight and to let your light shine. The iridescent glitter in the sunstone helps you sparkle and be confident with your creative expression. I need to get some of that myself. So, um, um, Spirit is is telling you those of you who were drawn here and it's because this is collective also wanted to tell you that just take what resonates leave the rest but with the sunstone here like you're truly meant to be in a leadership role um, in some area of your life maybe you are um, wanting to be like uh, or meant to be uh, in the limelight in some uh, form or fashion this could be like um, social media platform stepping out on stage um the public stage in some way or like um uh, with regards to your career your family but just um understanding that there's something about you that stands out from the rest like you have this light within you that's meant to shine meant to stand out and um getting this sunstone is really going to help you um gain the confidence to be able to take that um to take center stage whether that be in the public eye or just in your life to help you um gain that confidence to even like express yourself maybe you want to be able to just express yourself to um those that are close to you in your personal life but the affirmation here on this card is I am a creative person. I always have the confidence to let my light shine. So getting that um, sunstone and repeating that affirmation. I am a creative person. I always have the confidence to let my light shine. I am a creative person. I always have the confidence to let my light shine. So, um... Getting that um, confidence there to let your light shine no matter what situation you're in. And not allowing or letting people dim that light that is within you. And you know, even when, the, when times are dark, it's like um, even a stained glass. When the sun is out, the... Um, you know, sun, uh, the sun, that the way that it shines through those stained glass windows is beautiful always. But when the darkness sets in, only the light that is within can make that window sparkle. Okay, and you guys um, got this uh, Moo Kate, Kate? Moo Kite? Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I wanted to tell you guys um, and be a little bit vulnerable with you. Um, I only have, this is just really difficult for me to tell you guys this, but. Um, I only have an eighth grade education and everything that I've ever, that I know, I've taught myself how to spell, how to write basically, um, how to read pretty much. I mean, everything that I know, I've pretty much taught myself except for those basics, you know, as a, as a child. And, um, so if I stumble over my words or if I say things um, that don't make sense, <laughs> but like you can feel it, you know, 
if you can feel what I, and understand emotionally what I'm trying to say, or if I um, don't know how to say a word that I'm seeing here, um, understand that that's why. But I'm in, extremely intuitive and um, I know the language of spirit and I know what spirit is saying. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me and understanding that my readings are genuinely and accurately divinely guided. So I may not say things the most intelligent way and I may not understand or know how to say certain words or be able to read certain words, but um, I appreciate your patience. Um, and I'm emotionally and spiritually intelligent, but um, anyway, so I'm going to move on because that was really hard for me to speak about. So this card represents exuberance. Okay, and so um, move kite i think is how it's pronounced is shown as the anti-aging stone okay i need some of that <laughs> because it brings renewed energy and vitality 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 it gives you a spring in your step and keeps you young at heart moo kite promotes a sense of adventure and exuberance to try new things health wise this stone um, fortifies the immune system, heals wounds, and purifies the blood. So if you guys um, that are watching, like some of you are dealing with like um, growing older, especially those of you who are 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, however old you are, like if you're over the age of 30, you're going to start to notice like signs of aging and like what that does to your your body um and even if you're not like dealing with anti-aging or like aging um uh this is those of you who want to um embrace new adventures and try new things um uh also getting to someone watching does have like some immune system uh problems difficulties so really getting this crystal is really going to help you um, recover and heal those issues. And if you've been just reminiscing and wanting to feel young again, getting some of this mukite um, is going to um, give you that boost and that zest. Um, for life and give you that boost in energy and to help you live your life to the to its fullest so the affirmation here is every day i am renewed in vitality vitality and youthfulness i have a zest and an exuberance to live life to the fullest also on um, bottom of the deck getting that i feel like and mixing it with this golden quartz for success so you're going to especially um those of you who are over the age of 30 you could be um entering into a period of of life that is you're going to be bringing in more success and you're going to want to feel more um energized to handle all of the success that's coming towards you so spirit is telling you to uh get some of that um mukite i guess it is m-o-o-k-a-i-t-e mukite mukite mukate i don't know anyways um i'll put it in the uh comments or in the description box um probably in the comments um as getting that is really going to help um uplift your energy for those of you who feel feeling low on energy or want to um help heal any old wounds i'm also like physical wounds i'm also picking up too that this will help with your any kind of emotional wounds that you guys are dealing with as well i'm gonna get one more card from this deck i 
I, I just, I'm hearing someone say I'm too old for this or too old for that. So like you're saying you're too old for something. Maybe you're fearing that you're too old to find love or you're too old to, somebody is too old, feel not too old, but feeling too old to like have a child or like maybe you're feeling too old for um, some sort of success. And so spirit is telling you to um, uh, get this uh, crystal to... Um, help heal those, um, especially with the sunstone, getting that together, um, putting these together and meditating with them to help you feel more confident about your age um, and knowing that you're never too old for this or too, too old for that. And then we've got Howlite, which I have some of that right here. That's what this is. And this how light it's um, are you play oh my god uh, this is exactly what I was hearing before I started the reading before I even started with the cards um, started pulling cards are you plagued with negative mind chatter shut up and pessimistic thoughts so have you guys been dealing with like that overwhelming mind chatter because that's what I was hearing that's what drew me in to do the reading that's why these cards were pulling me in Okay, um, getting some of this, getting this crystal right here, how light. Um, it's very, it's a very calming crystal that helps quiet those, that overactive mind and um, uh, relieve any kind of excess worry that you're dealing with. It's going to help bring stillness to your mind and making this a very excellent stone to meditate with, which it is, okay. Uh, um, also, like if you go when you're going to bed at night, if you have trouble like quieting your mind, if you have like racing thoughts before you go to bed, um, putting this under your pillow or like if you have trouble going to sleep, insomnia, things like that, putting this under your pillow is really going to help with that. This also helps um, balance um, calcium levels in your body. And it's beneficial to your teeth and bones. So if you're having like um, issues with that, with your teeth and bones, getting this, meditating with this, sleeping with this under your pillow is really going to help you a lot, okay? And um, so your affirmation um, while you're meditating with this stone is, I take time to meditate when I filter out negative thinking, I attain inner peace. So really thinking and meditating on that affirmation. And I'll say it again. I take time to meditate. When I filter out negative thinking, I attain inner peace. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to find out like what is spirit helping you with at this time. Then I'm gonna let you guys go because I I could go deeper and deeper into a more um, a longer reading, but I just wanted to kind of do like a check in for you guys, and I'm gonna do a longer reading, um, several longer readings for you guys over the weekend. Also, let me know if you guys want me to go live. Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, divine, higher light beings. Please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see for the collective that you pulled in here, spirit. What are you currently helping them with at this time? Is it, so um, in your power... And that's crazy that this would come out right here with the creativity. So um, spirit is helping you break free, cutting cords with um, negative toxic energy, cutting cords with people, cutting cords with um, situations or um, things that just are not serving you and helping you get in this power, helping you have confidence, the confidence to be in your power Okay, to, to claim your crown, breaking you free from becoming a slave to everyday duties or, um, be, you know, wasting away into lifelessness, you know, here, 
you know, wasting away into lifelessness and helping you to feel that sense of zest for life again, exuberance, living life to the fullest, letting go of the, the negative mindless chatter that your thoughts um, uh, put into your mind every day, taking charge and putting the ego in its place. You know, um, spirit is really helping you um, and inspiring you to stand in your own power while you begin to unravel who you are and claim your crown, breaking you free from matrix thinking as well, uh, allowing you to rejoin the land of the living. Okay. I am a warrior. I don't know that song. But hopefully someone knows what I'm talking about. But there's, a, and that's the only part I know in the whole song. But we've got warrior. Like, uh, this is, spirit is helping you unleash your inner worry. So that you may find strength within yourself. Knowing your power. You know, finding your own way. Feeling re that renewed energy to fight back. Fight back against uh, uh, the influences of age the influences of um the body physical wounds illnesses injuries spirituality like you you definitely like um uh, in this energy of being uh, confident and spirit or spirit is like uh, helping you and, and assisting you being confident, being in your power, letting your light shine, fighting back, finding your strength, finding your voice, finding your power, cutting away, breaking free from toxic negative thoughts, being pessimistic feeling pessimistic about this or that leaving um crossing out the word hope or i hope this happens or i hope this will happen no it's i know this is going to happen i know i'm uh i'm the perfect age for this or i'm the perfect age for that i i know that i'm creative i know that my light shines within other messages do you have spirit that you're helping the collective with uh, look secrets those those secret thoughts too cutting the cords to um those those toxic thoughts that you keep to yourself that you don't tell anyone about those repetitive pessimistic negative thoughts that replay over in your mind that keep you um suffering from pat from the past healing you from your past sufferings by bringing the truth to light which can no longer be hidden so that you can cut cords with the past so that you can cut cords with people that you've been holding on to from the past that have pulled the wool over your eyes. You even pulled the wool over your own eyes. Releasing you from pain and loneliness. And showing you your true gifts. So I'm not going to do the tarot today. I just wanted to do a little check-in for you guys. But let me know if this resonates with you. And if you want to, um, you can definitely claim this. Um, and let Spirit know that you accept these healings. That you accept what your higher self is um, doing for you. You, can eat, you don't have to leave it in the comments if you don't want to. I mean, it definitely... Um, is totally okay for you to do that um but you can just say it out loud just let's let your higher self know let spirit know let the universe know that you approve 
of this um, help, that you allow this help into your life, especially if this is resonating with you. So I will see you guys tomorrow and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.